left this morning at 5 a.m. and my little motor wasn't working so I pedaled all the way here. I got some good exercise. The weather's looking good. I couldn't get my motor working and I have two different power systems to run it off. Chances of both of them being broken is pretty slim. I'm pretty sure the motor has some kind of problem. And I'm getting seriously tired of factory manufactured things breaking. This thing has been corroding like crazy even though I rinse it off every time I use it. And now somewhere between the electronics and the motor it just doesn't function. All right, no more brushless motors, because when the electronics go, you can't replace it. And a motor with brushes doesn't need any electronics to run it, and the brushes are easy to replace. So I just need to make sure I have extra brushes. Not a big deal. They last a long time. Okay, the usual motor style is a problem, because it's got gears under the water, and salt can't get in there, which means there's a seal here where the shaft comes through, and if that seal fails, water gets in here, you got problems. So seal failure is a constant issue. I've had a lot of success with this style where it's just a motor, long shaft, and a propeller. Um, it is a little bit difficult to mount on a boat because it has to be so long and then there is a vibration issue if the shaft isn't like a good straight shaft. And uh, I'm cheap and I'm mostly using pipes that aren't meant for this. While I was pedaling home, I was thinking about this. With something like this, I can have a plastic bearing down here that can just be lubricated with seawater. There are no moving parts other than just a bearing under the water. And you know, the housing will go up to the motor. Okay, so this is the motor. This is the shaft. It spins this thing around. And here's the top view. This spins around here. This is that thing, right? It shoots water out the back, which gives you propulsion. And then this bottom part here is where the water comes in. So it comes in here, gets shot out. Now, there aren't a lot of these around. And often people say, well, you know, there's a reason no one's manufacturing those. And the implication is that it doesn't work. But there's another reason they don't manufacture a lot of different things, which is that maybe the lack of moving parts under the water makes for so little maintenance that companies aren't making repair money off these things. So they don't like that. They want this style where seals fail all the time. People need to replace the gears because the seawater's gotten in there and you know it's just expensive to maintain which means company make, companies make a lot of money on repairs. Now, how much less efficient is this? Or is it? I don't even know. Maybe this can be made to be just as efficient as this. I don't know. One thing I know is this doesn't have any moving parts under the water, and it's not going to be difficult to maintain it, other than that one bearing that can be made out of plastic and just lubricated with seawater. And it would be easy to mount because it's vertical like this. That's the big advantage with this style. Easy to mount because it goes vertical. This is much harder to mount because you know you got your boat here and it sticks way out the back or you move it forward in the boat. I don't know, it just gets complicated. Yeah, I think I want to build this. I don't want to do it until I have a good workshop where I can do a really good job on this thing. But I need the, work sh I need the motor to build the workshop. And I need the workshop to build a motor. Paradox. Oh, there's a hole in my bucket. So is there something I can scrap together for now until I get that going? I do have something in my workshop that might be functional. Wow, this thing is heavy duty. And I have no idea its condition. I got it really cheap from a guy who's getting rid of it. No idea if it works. Whew. 
Well, that is geared down a lot. Got a lot of friction in there. Well, if this motor will run on 48 volts, I could just hook it up and see what what happens. Oh, this is missing all kinds of things. All right, that's got to be the main power coming in, which comes to here, and I probably want to connect that directly to the motor. Take that off. <clears throat> oh, there's some writing here, which is not easy to read. Oh, cripes, what does that say? It's getting harder to read the more I rub it. The little switches here on the side say 60 volts, which means this is probably somewhere close to a 48 volt motor so it should run on 48 volts just fine so if i hook my power from the boat directly up to the motor you know presuming the motor functions everything should work <laughs> well not everything the motor will turn and the propeller should turn so i better check if there's any oil in the gears oh that opens nice no it's wet no, it's not. There's dried out oil. <laughs> oh, no, wait. No, it's wet. Okay. That's a good sign. And I guess I'll put oil in there and see how much it takes. Since I don't know the condition of anything in this, I'm taking off all non-essential parts. Everything down to the motor. The motor's all, all that I need. Getting a lot of weight off, that's a good sign. These switches look like they're in pretty good condition. I bet they all work. Well, the motor looks like it's in alright condition. Looks pretty good, actually. Hopefully it is. And those are nice quality bolts. No rust on them at all. What do I do here? I guess just slap it on and see if it works. Man, that looks great on this boat. It looks like it belongs. Maybe it's just because it's all beat up and so is my boat. The propeller is a little bit high in the water, although when I'm sitting here, it'll definitely be lower. And the propeller is probably going to turn kind of slow, so it shouldn't be that much of a problem. If it is, I can just put more weight. You know what? I don't even know if this thing's going to turn on. A bunch of switches to control the solar panels so I'll be able to control how much electricity goes to the motor if I run it directly off the solar panels. So let's try that first. <laughs> I'd be lucky. Oh. Ah. I guess I was hoping for too much. Not a recommended wiring job, but I should do for a test. Okay. All right, looks like that's hooked up. The motor's secure, it's not gonna fall in the water. Okay. Come on, please do something uh, other than melt or explode. Oh, you're not doing anything. Oh, come on. Oh, man, nothing. Oh, that's not good. I can tell by the sparks coming off my little switches here that electricity was definitely flowing. This motor's just not turning. Oh, I guess I can take this apart. All right, let's do it. Oh, well, those are complicated brushes. Nice magnets. All right, this turns now freely. This was touching there, and these are magnets that stick to this. They're not supposed to touch. If I take a piece of wire and put it around here as a spacer, it'll keep this away from the metal things a little bit. Okay, for 
prepare for magnetic pressure. Go. Okay, there's my little copper spacer in there. And hopefully this will turn more. Oh, look at that. Now I think there's a 50-50 chance this is gonna work. Oh my gosh, it works. Ha ha ha, yes! Guess I better take it for a spin. Alright. Please, nothing melt or explode. Or... Well, I've been going for about 15 minutes, just driving around in circles. No problems yet, and the motor's not that hot. Everything seems to be pretty good. It's pretty cloudy right now, so I'm not getting a lot of power. And I'm not ready to connect this to the batteries, because I don't know how much power this uses if I connect something that will give it as much power as it can take. I mean, it might be a 10 or 20 horsepower motor for all I know. It'll rip the transom right off the boat. I would like to get a little few minutes with full sun just to see how fast it goes then. But uh, so far, low light conditions, low power conditions, that's pretty good. I mean, I'm definitely moving. I'm not pedaling. Whoa, I got some sun now. Oh, cloud. Well, for about, about 30 seconds there, I had some good sun, and yeah, that was pretty good speed. I'm happy with it. Oh, here we go. Getting some more sun now again. Everything looks all right. Nothing's vibrating off. Come on, speed us up. I'm not pedaling at all right now. Just letting the motor do its thing. Not bad. Still cloudy. You know, one thing I love about driving directly off solar panels is you can hear the engine rev up every time the clouds get out of the way. Every time the clouds get in the way, it revs down, which is a bit of a downer. But like, when the sun comes out, it's just like, oh, it's inspirational. Here are those fish up ahead. Let's take a look at what's going on here. Huh. There's like a dozen of these things around. And they're pretty good size. I mean, that one back there was maybe 18 inches. This guy's a little over a foot. Hmm. Definitely eating size. They must have fallen off someone's boat. Someone wouldn't throw those away. Or maybe they all got sick and died. <gasps> there's a fish pandemic. There's more over there. Jeez, holy, there's like 20 of them. I can see a whole bunch over there and over there. What is going on? They must have fallen off someone's boat, right? Or did the apocalypse just start? Zombies? Zombies coming? Check the internet. 
I gotta admit, I'm a little bit impressed that that thing works. It's been sitting in my building for the last two years, and I know the guy I got it from, he had it sitting in his shed for, I don't know how many years. Uh, and yeah, it still works. Let's see what this is. Ray. Ooh, it's a Ray 450. I should be able to look that up and see what power the motor is. Maybe I can connect it to the batteries without tearing the boat apart. Otherwise, I'll have to get a speed controller or blah, blah, blah. But whatever. Right now, I can use it when the sun's out, and it'll help me go to town and back, even if I can't connect it to the batteries. Because most of the time, I'm going when the sun's out anyway. And, I mean, when I don't have the motor, I just pedal. And I just pedaled all the way there back. Anyway, so... Any help is great.